All right, guys, I want you guys to take a good, long, hard look at my team right now because this might be the last you see of this squad. This squad of underachievers. No, I'm joking. The underachievers is all on me. But, I mean, you know, we got a dub squad, and I wasn't really being literal when I said underachievers. You know, I'm just having fun, man. So, we go to my defense, and, I mean, we're going to try something different. We will get more man defense, man chemistry players. And, you know, I think I will move Verrett back to the starting position. Like, you know, that cornerback won in a little bit. But I want to see how he plays in the nickel one more game. So, like I said, all of that lineup update talk, it's going to be taking place soon. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. So, unfortunately, we're starting this game off receiving the ball. But, you know, that might not be a bad thing. We get to see what my offense can do for starters. And, you know, maybe, just maybe, we'll start off clicking. I seriously think I have a problem, man. Like, I don't know what it is. Every game, I come out, and I just, I absolutely shotgun. First play. Why? Like, I have this absolute need to just come out slinging the rock. Just, you know, chucking up a bunch of passes. It's right here. Barry Sanders. Heavy dose of him early on. Picking up that first. Yo, is this real life? Is this like a pick play? Let me see if this actually works out. Yo, this play is actually kind of lit right here. Going to Tavon Austin. That is a trash read. Tried to force the ball in. We're able to get the tackle. No need to panic. That was just a really bad read. It happens to the best of us. We just got to bounce back from it. That's it. That's all. So here we go. First and 10. My opponent's got the ball in some really good field position thanks to a really ass read by me. Rocking out with those Cowboys uniforms taking hella time off of the game clock. Like, what, what was he even waiting on right here? And he throws a user right back to me. He took all that time to hike the ball just to throw a user back. All right, man, enough of the games. We're about to come out. We're about to play some good football. I've been tripping for long enough. Here we go. Dropping back. Amari Cooper one-on-one. -on -one. Good job sealing off of that cornerback and being able to pick up that first down. So this play, I'm not sure what he's running, but... I'm going to try to run this to the left side of your screen. Damn. Hit my boy Barry in the backfield. So, you know what that means? That means he might be in a killer run stop formation. We're going to come back. You guys see he has hella linebackers on the field. This is going to give Cam a lot of space. Actually, Cam not setting his feet. Finding Tavon Austin. Tavon throwing a defender off of him and getting down at the 37 yard line. I almost just wanted to run the ball with Kim because I feel like running the ball is just like the safer thing. Like it took a lot of trust. Yo, what in the world? What am I watching? Like you got a simple block in front of you to make. Like just make that joint, it's not that hard. Like all you had to do was make contact with the dude in front of you. But like I was saying, that's a tough throw to make with Cam Newton. Right here we go, second and 13, flats were open. I think Jimmy was open too. He's trying to hit stick Amari Cooper. Amari bouncing off of tackles. Man, I seriously don't know what's been wrong with me lately like in Mutt. Like, I don't know if everybody goes through these phases, but I've been kind of gun shy. It's right here. Barry Sanders getting shoestring tackled. Like, it takes a while for me to see plays developing. A lot of my plays, a lot of my success, it's kind of like Russell Wilson. And I'm not saying it like as an insult or anything, but I mean, it's just true. Like, a lot of Russell Wilson's success comes off of broken plays. And damn, that would have been a fire pick play. So here we are, boys. Third and 12. Conservative call of the year. I'm going to run the pitch. Barry Sanders with the juke. That's going to put us down at the 16 and force us to settle for a field goal. Man, I've been some hot garbage running with Barry Sanders, man. My blocks haven't been setting up. I know this is going to go back to everybody saying upgrade your offensive line. But outside of Rick Wagner, like, I think my offensive line is all like 89 plus run block. Here we go. He's dropping back. Run play. TD. Golly, that guy is fast. Second and five. And we're trying out some of that press coverage I was talking about. He's going to the screen pass. He's still throwing it. Why would it not let me pick that off? Yo, you got to catch that. Man, if that was Shazier in right there, that's a pick, baby. My team has to be great, especially going through the struggle. And I'm mad enough to admit that the struggle I've been going through recently in Mutt. Third and five. I'm not spying anybody. Probably should be. You know, Mariota pretty damn mobile. As, once again, just taking forever 
to hike the ball. Last second adjustment, six seconds on the game clock. I get caught in coverage. He can't find anybody. That's an ass pass by Mariota. Fourth and five, and I, I'm just so numb now when my opponents go for it. Like, I expect it. Fourth and five. Like, I didn't even go to punt block or the punt thing or whatever. The punt formation. Incomplete pass. Let's get it. Let's go ahead. Let's put this guy out of his misery. I feel it. I feel like if we score right here, homeboy is going to bounce up out the game. Here we go. Run on one coverage across the board. Finding Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham holding on to that. And we are down at the seven. We got to go to Barry. This is a no-brainer. Up the gut to Barry Sanders. Cutting it. Brr, gosh, I am so bad with them right now. I'm just missing. Hold, I'm like Trent Richardson in a Trent Richardsoning. Trent Rich. That's like a tongue twister. I'm just. I'm gonna just say I'm pulling the Trent Richardson man. Another run play. I see the hole that time. I explode through it and go figure. We on the board with the TD. So far, I'm seeing no signs of early exit from my opponent. And you know, much props to him, man. It's only a 10 to zero game. And I just feel like, I see that's a bad ball. Let's go. I just feel like a lot of times in the community, like when somebody is having like a game like this guy's having, you know, going for it on fourth, not completing a bunch of passes. Like they normally just, they, they normally just quit. Whoa, Verrett. God damn. <laughs> what are you doing, man? That's it's Was it fourth down? I don't think it was fourth down. But still like a stop right there is a game changer. Don't go for that pick. You see, you try to give players chances, man. You really do. As he's scrambling right here. Terrible ball. This time we snagged the pick. We holding on to it. And we are down at the 29. This guy just paused the game. He's making a substitution. He's got to be making a substitution. Because, no, he actually just quit. So after all that, after me giving this guy like a ton of props, my opponent actually does up and out the game. All right, so... I need a new playbook, guys. You know, new lineup coming. I need a new playbook. I'm talking about offense. I think defense is just, I don't know. Defense two, let me know. Three, four, or four, three. We got a lot of tough decisions to make, man. Like, I'm starting to feel like, you know, my defense has been playing kind of trash again. Like, yeah, we had a good game against this guy, but like, my recent games have been like really up and down, really inconsistent gameplays, you know? And like I said, I think everybody goes through that period in Mutt where like they're trying to find a team identity. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Once again, suggestions down in the comments below, please. I don't know what this was. I don't know. It's late, man. But like I said, I'm Decoop. Much more coming soon. And time out. So this is pretty crazy, right? We are back and we are going to do another flashback. I haven't had enough. I will keep opening these flashbacks until we finally get a good pull. And we're also doing things a bit different this commentary. We're not going for the best card. Because when you go for the best card, you don't get the best card. That's not how it works. I mean, it, it works with throwbacks apparently because I got Kelvin Benjamin. And I mean, I guess Kelvin Benjamin, you can argue, is not the best card. Hey, story for another commentary. Let's let it slide.